Uh, mute yourself for a second, would you? Okay. Okay. I hear you. Okay, we are unmuted. Ooh. All right, good evening. Is anybody out there? Can you hear us? I think they are here with us. I see people commenting. Yes, we are all here. It is happening. I see lots of- Can you hear us? I emojis. Oh my gosh, so many emojis. Okay, here is the thing. All right, hello everyone and welcome to Charming Disasters Shelter in Place live stream. We are coming at you from two separate locations today because of the, uh, the governor's order for us all to stop assembling and we are um, very pleased to be with you here in this very strange space. Jeff, how are you feeling today? Oh, I'm feeling God, good. So many emojis. I'm feeling good. Okay, I'm feeling... here is the thing. All right. Oh. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Charlie. Oh, it's not muted. I'm sorry, everybody. I'm sorry. I'm feeling good. Okay. Okay. We're in some sort of, I think we're in some sort of time loop. Okay. All right. Great. Hello, Melissa. Hello, Heather Lilly. Hello, Eve, hello, all the people we're seeing coming up in the comments. We're so hello. happy to see you. So happy to be here. Awesome. All right. So because this uh, this is a bit different from our last couple of live streams where we've been lucky to be in the same place, uh, we're going to do this a little differently. We're going to begin actually by drawing a card from the tarot deck just to kind of take the temperature of our current situation. Uh, Jeff, would you uh, fan the cards? I will. Okay. Here we are. Mm. Okay. All right. Would you would you pick one? Uh, sure. Oh, here. You got it? Yeah, I got it. Okay. Okay. Ah. All right. We have drawn the Four of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, okay. All right, so we see, we know that the Pentacles are, uh, they represent money and the material world and like our the sort of fruits of our, our industriousness. Mm -hmm. And uh, this guy is kind of clutching them to himself while the city is in the background and he's not in the city. And I think that kind of makes sense for our current situation. Yeah. He's Yeah, and if, any, if anyone else has any insights to what, the meaning of this could be, please put it in the comments and we will know. Definitely. Yeah. Don't don't hold back if there are other tarot yeah. experts here. Um, but yeah, this is this is what we're dealing with right now. He's all by himself. He's clutching his worldly goods while He's in the in background. In the city. Yeah. All right. All right. So that is our first thing in the agenda. Oh, lots more people have joined. Hello, Carol. Hello, Mike. Hello, Mom. Hello, Carrie. Hello, Katie. Ellie, I can I can barely hear you. Uh, is your audio working? Or uh, yeah. Can you hear me now? How about now? Oh. You want to call me? Do you want oh. To yeah. Uh, hold on. Let me let me try it. Sorry. I, there's all these technical things to figure out now. Yeah. Okay. Um, hello, can you hear me? Hello? I hear you. Is that better? That's much better. I think, I think you, you fixed it. Okay. It's just this new technology. It's really, it's challenging for all of us to get up to speed on it, but I think, I think we're good. Yeah. We're just working with what we have here. Okay, cool. Okay, great. 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 All right. So I think we've figured out the uh, the audio stuff now. Mm -hmm. um, well, um, what did we say we we're going to do? Oh, we're going to take questions from people. That's right. 
Oh yeah, questions. Now there were a few people who uh, sent in questions in advance, so we can ask each other those questions to begin. But um, as we're going through this uh, live stream, if people have questions, you can kind of consider this and ask me anything kind of situation. We won't answer anything, but we you can ask us anything, and we'll uh, we'll pick the questions that we want. Yeah, that seems fair. Um, so let's see. To begin. Um, we had a few questions. If you had more money to record albums, what would you do that you're not already doing? Hmm. Like a lot of money? Yeah, like, I don't know, a lot of money. Well, we, we've always liked strings and... Strings, think... like, like strings? No, I think like strings, like... Strings. Oh. Mm. So I think if we had an unlimited budget, we would have the London Symphony Orchestra play with us on every song. And maybe just string arrangements, you know, just a full, a full orchestral album. What do you think? Lon London Symphony Orchestra all the way. Yeah. yeah. They have a lot of free time. They have a lot of, they, they do anything for money. Yeah, yeah, I feel like we could really write a good, like, full orchestral arrangement. They're so easy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. A couple other questions just came in over the over the transom. Mm -hmm. And let's see. So Isabel asks, is that a banjo lele in the background? No, as Aaron theorized, it is, in fact, a full-size banjo um, in the behind the uh, bunting. Yeah. Um, and let's see, there was another question. Why does it claim your name is Keith Nelson? Ah, that's a great question as well. Um, I am actually using, Keith Nelson is uh, one of the co-founders of the Bindlestiff Family Circus and uh, they've kindly allowed us to use their Zoom account for tonight's live stream because our pro account isn't gonna be up and running till next week. And uh, we didn't wanna get cut off after 40 minutes. Um, Bindlestiff Family Circus is a wonderful performing arts organization that's been around based in New York City for the last like 25 years. I work with them um, and I'm going to share a link to their thank you so much to Bindlestiff for letting us, uh, you know, use your, your, your account for this. Um, and I'm going to share this all with you. Bindlestiff has a website you can check out and also Bindlestiff is doing a live stream on April 6th here on Facebook and you can check that out here yeah. as well awesome. if you're interested. Um, yes, it will. There, there will be magic and clowning and other fun stuff. Lots of magic. Yeah. All right, do you want to take another question? Yeah, what do we got? Um, well, from the, the advanced questions, if you could do a tour and play any locations in the United States, what would that dream tour look like? Hmm. I mean, we want to play everywhere. Literally everywhere. Yes. yes. Every small town, large city. And Farm. Your Dead. Desert compound. Yeah. Um, really, I mean, I'd love to play a tour where like every single person who wants us to come play their town, we can show we up to and play their town. That would be really great. Yeah, definitely. With the London Symphony Orchestra, of course. With the London Symphony Orchestra, obviously. Yes. Yeah. So I hope you have a lot of spare beds because we kind of do the like the homestay touring model. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Those guys, those guys, yeah, and girls. Yeah, and a lot of those guys have like bad backs and stuff. So mm -hmm. you know, like we're gonna need firm mattresses and. Yeah. Yeah. No crappy air mattresses for them. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, you want to play a song? Yeah. Uh, now, because of latency, meaning the like lag time between my stream and Jeff's stream, we cannot play any songs at the same time. However, yeah. we thought we would treat you to some solo performances tonight. Yeah, I'll play a song. Uh, can I borrow your tuner? Oh, sure. Here you go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right, nice. So I'm going to play a song that um, I play 
with my other band, my old band, uh, Coderino. And in the spirit of this lockdown, the song is called Together. It's about being together and those challenges within those, you know, within that. All right, here we go. Sing a song, I'll sing along right by your side. Just like two shoes thrown over the telephone wire. I had a dream so big and far, just like the wheels keep touching tar of my rusty Cadillac. If I go to you, will I come back? Oh, 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 oh. Oh 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 Leave me alone. Let's go down to the show. We'll dance real fast and come home slow. Leave me alone. Let's go down to the show. We'll dance real fast and come home. Sometimes we get along, we get along just fine. You can be a balloon in the breeze and I can be a porcupine. Sometimes we get along, we get along just fine. You can be a balloon in the breeze and I can be a porcupine. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 leave me alone, let's go down to the show, we'll dance real fast and come home slow, leave me alone, let's go down to the show, we'll dance real fast and come home it's so hard to see around the big tomato sitting in between you and me at the little red formica kitchen table take a little time to see around the slow tornado spinning in between you and me at the little red formica kitchen table. Shoes thrown over the telephone wire. I'll hang a sign outside the door. I'll let you in, but not too far. I'll whistle low and call your name. You'll hear it here in the refrain. Oh, oh, together, oh, 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 together now. Oh, 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 together, oh, 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 
How was that? Was that in time? That was perfect. <laughs> We're together. So that song is on um, nowhere. It doesn't exist anywhere. Sometimes Why not? it's not recorded some, for some reason. I love that song. It was really hard not to sing along the whole time. <laughs> you did it. You did it in the end. I did it in the end. It's true. Um, a lot more questions have come in in the oh, meantime. Excellent. Do you want what? to, maybe we should field some more questions. Yeah, what, what are some questions? Okay, so I, I'm putting them in our shared paper thing. So oh, you yeah. can also see them. I'm just pasting them from the comments. Um, but let's see. Uh, my brother asks, why no cross-dressing? Which like, I mean, I think that implies a binary that we're rejecting. That's right. Um, somebody says, missed you in Cleveland at the Witch Museum. How was that as a venue? Oh, remember the days when we could just like travel the land and stop mm -hmm. at any witch museum and casually mention that we played songs about the occult and have them invite us to perform there on the spot? Those are the days. Oh, those were the days. Um, it was good. We got to play in like a pentacle on the floor, pentacle, pentagram, some sort of thing. It was just, it was, uh, it was good. It checked a lot of boxes for me to get to play in the Witch Museum. It was a great place. I learned a lot. Yeah, it is a great place. Really uh, nice. Yeah, if you're in Cleveland and uh, the plague is over, you should definitely yeah. go check out the Witch Museum. Yeah. Um, all right, let's do one more question. Uh, where do you get your outfits? They are always fantastic. Why, thank you. Nice. It's most kind. Um, it's uh where do we get our outfits where did you get that outfit no, um well let's see i got this dress probably at the thrift store near the laundromat where i gather mm -hmm. most things that are good that i wear mm -hmm. um my aunt marcia gifted me this fabulous veil hat fascinator thing mm. um and the rest i mean we kind of we mostly scavenge we find stuff yeah. And then we modify. Um, we have used hot glue on many things. What about where you got your outfit? Where did that come this from? This robe came from uh, the Costume Foundation. The TDF, TDF. Costume Collection? Called? The Costume Collection. Yeah. And I love it. Now I just wear it around the house all the time. Uh, these, these things, this came from a thrift store. This came from a thrift store. My mustache I grew this morning. Are you wearing pants right now? Me or you? Are you wearing pants right now? Underpants. Yeah. Cool. I mean, I just assume nobody's wearing pants anymore. What are pants? Do people wear those anymore? Uh, nobody wears them anymore now. Um, yeah, there's lots of questions. Oh my gosh, you people are full of questions and I love you. I love them so much, these questions. I'm, we're just gonna try and keep up with the deluge of questions. Um, I'm trying to paste, the, Jeff, I'm trying to paste them into the document in order so that we can kind of look through them um, and- uh, Okay, I don't see them yet. Okay, they're just under cues in, the, in our shared paper doc. We have a lot of productivity tools that we use. <laughs> This is one of them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> mm. uh, how do you type a sexy whistle? Asks Hannah. I wish I knew. I wish I knew. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, favorite pre-show meals or drinks? What do you like to eat before a show or drink? Um, it's, I don't really drink before a show. I mean, it's, you know, wine bothers my throat and so does a little whiskey, I think is good. Just a little bit, like a half hour before a show. Yeah, it's really threading a needle though because too much and then you can't remember the lyrics. Yeah, it doesn't take much for me to forget everything. <laughs> well, I met you in a general sense. I, I mean that for I myself. Think you forget me. Well. <laughs> who else is there? I mean, who else? It's just me. I know, it's just the two of us now here in cyberspace. Alex Spitfire wanted to know if we were really quarantined. And the answer is, I mean, we're not quarantined, but we are, we are isolating as 
everybody seems to be, although it's hard to tell from inside the house, but um, no, like I'm like barely going, I'm like going out to take a walk or to like go to the mailbox and um, that's about it right now. I'm so, it's so weird and surreal and like, it's, it's, it feels so terrible to be um, so paranoid of other people, um, but there you have it. Yeah. Oh my God, there's so many more questions. And um, I, instead of answering another question, I thought perhaps I would also play a song. You should play a song, please. The song will not answer any of your questions. What song will you play? Will it answer that one? Jeff, you are muted for some reason. Can you hear me? I hear me. Can anybody else hear Jeff right now? Can you Did hear you us? Hear? That's a question for the people. I mean, I see my little. Uh, I can't hear you, Jeff. Hmm. We're having technical issues. Quick, get the cans. Can you hear me now? No. No. You, you can't hear this. Okay, Hannah can hear you. All right. I can't hear you. I don't know what the problem is. You mute me. Well, uh, I, wait, I'm going to mute you and then I'm going to unmute you. I've been muted. Welcome to our Zoom meeting, everybody. Can you hear me? No? All right, well. Why don't you play? No, I still, all right, I'm going to play while you figure this out. Okay. My mother requests a water song, and as it happens, I have one prepared. This is also a song about waiting. When the weather's right and my planets align, all my pretty ducklings in a row, I'll get what's mine. Waiting for my ship to come in, standing on the stone jetty. It will only ever happen someday, but I am ready, already, already. Pray to my lucky stars, they will clear the way. It is so hard to be patient, but I will come home to stay. Jetty. That was from my solo project, Sweet Spread, and it came off of our album Days and Nights, and I'm going to share a link to that as well if you want to check that out. Um, there's the link for Jetty. Okay. Nice. Um, and it's also on the other places, Spotify and things like that. Um, Jeff, I still can't hear you. Mm. I know it's terrible. The other people can hear me. I don't know. I just see your lips moving, but everybody else can hear you. So <laughs> it's it's mysterious. Mm. Is this like the result of some terrible wish that I wished? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, I'm just going to check and see if I can hear you if I put these headphones on. I'm sorry, everybody. Um, in the meantime, Jeff, feel free to uh, field a question. Oh, yeah. Let's go. The can is malfunctioning. Yes, that seems right. All right, Jeff, say something. Hello. Oh, Hello? I can hear you in the headphones. Oh, good. All right. Well, I guess I'll put the headphones on and then we can talk to each other. Um, All right. That's a good look, right? Let's see. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah. I think it's. I think it's pretty. Oh, it cool. actually looks. It looks. It's kind cool. of fashion. I kind yeah. of like it. <laughs> All right. Well, we solved that technical issue. Ooh. With a fashion. With a fashion solution. I know. I wish every solution was a fashion solution. All right. Well, let's see. We have like a gazillion more questions that have come in since our last solicitation of questions. Right, I'm gonna answer this question. Okay. Are you ever gonna put songs like "Pull Boys Pull" or "Murderer" on any upcoming albums? Ooh, great question. We had spoken about trying to record Pull Boys Pull, which is our, our Moby Dick inspired song uh, with like a full longboat filled with people singing and like banging their oars on the boat and stuff. I mean, that's still kind of a dream, but I, I, I think that that one needs to be recorded in a certain way. Yeah. And Murderer is already recorded, but it's on a Coterino album. Um, that's that's true. Yes. Maybe we could share a link to that album. Yes, I will share that link. All right. Um, I mean, the larger question is like, I guess we have all these like sort of misfits. Misfit. Yeah, misfit songs. And uh, yeah, I think when we eventually accumulate enough of them, we'll probably do like a weird like orphans and misfits kind of yeah. album. Um, but in the meantime, you can find a lot of them on our band camp. Um, a lot of them are pay what you want downloads. So um, there's, there are versions of a lot of those floating around. Oh, hey, Jeff, what kind of guitar do you play? Oh, I play, this is a Gibson ES-150. Nice. It's from, it's <laughs> 1949. And uh, I got it on eBay. And it was, I was very, very fortunate um because it played great right out of right out of the package and uh, i love it very much it's my prized possession it's really nice all right i'm gonna put a link to this coterino album in oh great the thing do it it's a good album i like that album we snuck a couple of charming disaster songs on that album yeah because coterino was recording right when we kind of started playing together and Jeff needed a couple extra songs for the album. And we had these two songs. So um, East River Fairy Waltz and Murderer. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to take this opportunity to remind everybody that this is a donation-based concert, which means if you are uh, feeling financially stressed, it is our gift to you. And if you are in a position to and would like to support us through your donation or by buying merch, there are various ways to do that. I'm going to share some links in the comments, uh, but here's also a little photo picture. So Ooh. yeah, so there's Venmo at Charming Disaster. There's paypal.me slash Charming Disaster. And there's charmingdisaster.com slash virtual dash tickets or go to our band camp and uh, buy some stuff and we'll send it to you or you'll download it. Um, all right, so that's a thing that we just did. How long have you two known each other? How did you decide to start playing together? It's a good question. Isn't it? How, how is, it just seems to be forever. <laughs> like a hundred years ago. Mm-hmm. I opened that tomb. And who was laying there? You looked so peaceful. You, like you were just sleeping. And there I, I was, sleeping. I was just looking for a body to do experiments on. And here I am. I know, I'm still doing that experiment. <laughs> it's true. We met eight years ago, was it? Mm -hmm. In real time? Mm-hmm. 
and I, I that's it's just a blur I don't that's I the last thing I remember to be honest yeah yeah I don't know um Teresa Torres seconds Josh Bisker's request oh they want you to talk in a Vincent Price voice what are you drinking I am drinking a little whiskey oh you want some yeah but I don't have any it's okay I can't just pass that's cute. No, it won't work. <laughs> oh, well. Now, there's some other interesting questions in here. Uh, oh, there were some questions I'm not going to, I'm not going to. Josh, my brother wants to know why we're not doing like puppet shows or interpretive dance or art performances in the non-playing member screen. And I refuse to answer that question because he makes an excellent point. Like we definitely should have planned for that. And maybe yeah. next time next we time. will. Um, yeah. yeah. Every, we want to do these every Friday. Every Friday. So yeah. We're going to come up with some more. Sticks. Yeah. They're going to get increasingly weird and elaborate is the plan. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And if you, uh, you know, if you want to do your own puppet show or whatever at home, like, please don't let us stop you. Yeah. Okay. Now there are three requests for you to talk in a Vincent Price voice. I don't even know what a Vincent Price voice is. <laughs> It'll have to wait. Maybe um, you ought to. Maybe you ought to play another song. Oh, is it my turn? It's my turn. I just played one. I know. It was so pretty. Thanks. All right. Um, all right. I'm going to play this song called Little Boat, um, which I recorded with Coda Reno. Um, it's on our first album. Better. Uh, first album is called Broken Land, which is the old name for Brooklyn. <laughs> to crawl inside a little boat paddle till I cannot see the shore the sun beats down but I'll have my parasol the rain beats down but I'll have my parasol oh, oh, oh. Standing there with your mysterious frown Mona Lisa turned upside down All our yesterdays were once tomorrows You and me standing in the middle of It's never like think it's gonna be no it's never like you think it's gonna be well things have kind of gotten away from me I quit my job and moved back to the sea I ain't no clown, but I loves the circus, so settle down and eat your peanuts, son. We'll dance and sing about those abstract things where spoken words always fail we'll come together again <laughs> this is elliot's kazoo solo <laughs> Those abstract things 
well-spoken words always fail. We'll come together again when I finally have to leave this world. La, 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 la. Chop me up and feed me to the birds. La, 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 la. Cloud of starlings haunts the sky. Outside your window, a blue crow cries. Cries, it's never like you think it's gonna be. No, it's never like you think it's gonna be. No, it's never like you think it's gonna be. No, it's never like you think it's gonna be never like. Just the phrase of the hour. It's never like you think it's going to be. Were you some sort of seer or like, I don't know, future looker at the time that you wrote this? You can always say that about the future. I'm a future looker, though. Mm -hmm. I know that about you. All right. Where are we on our program? I lost track. Oh, great. Are there well, any, other, what other questions we want to answer? There have been a lot of questions and I apologize to everybody because in the stream of comments, I can only scroll up a certain amount. And so I definitely missed some questions when I was uh, harvesting them for later. Um, like, I think somebody asked a question about being a disabled musician in a small town and, uh, and I, I, I can't find that question anymore. So if you're, if that was your question and you're dying to have that answered, please ask it again and I will try to catch it before it disappears this time. Mm. Um, but we had some other good questions in the yeah, meantime. Yeah, I see a couple of good ones. Um, can, all right, so here's one. Can I make a puppet show based off of one of your songs? The That's answer right. to that question is a strong yes. If you want to make if you want to make work that uses our work, we are all about that. If you want to make a puppet show, if you want to make visual artwork, if you want to use our song in a thing, if you want to use one of our recorded tracks in a thing, you should ask us, um, but we will probably say yes. We are very into collaborations and we're very grateful for the artists whose work has inspired ours and we're very excited to pay that forward. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, what's in our future? Pull a card. Oh, Carol Olson says, can Jeff Morris spell the name of his other band, Searching Bandcamp? Sure. It's K-O-T-O-R-I-N-O. -O. I think I spelled it right. There it goes. <laughs> um, let's see. Heather Lilly asks, will you play Typhoid Mary tonight? Typhoid Mary is a brand new song, which I released uh, uh, under my solo project, Sweet Soubrette, last week. Um, I will share a link to that right now so you can check it out. Um, I considered playing that this week, but I think it's a little boring as a solo number. Mm -hmm. However, um, I'm excited to announce that I have written yet another new song inspired by the plague. Um, and I'm gonna play you that one instead. It's brand new. I'm gonna take these off though, cause it's weird to sing with them on. Do it. Now I can say all the stuff about you and you'll never hear. Yeah, no, now I can't hear you at all. Okay. Excellent. So. The song is called Together Someday and it's all true. 
My mother told me to write something uplifting to cheer us as we wait for news to improve. That's not my forte, but she keeps on insisting, so I am attempting to lighten the mood. Stay in the house and pick up the phone. We're here with each other, though we are alone. Six feet apart to keep everyone safe. But I hope that we'll sing this together someday. My father told me he'd been doing some reading about when all Europe had caught the Black Death, the bubonic plague, old Yersinia pestis. Oh, all things considered, we're lucky, I guess. Stay in the house and pick up the phone. We're here with each other, though we are alone. Six feet apart to keep everyone safe. But I hope that we'll sing this together someday. You can sing along from home if you like. They opened a tomb where a mummy was buried some thousands of years ago, sealed with a curse. What did they expect had they seen no old movies? The ancient Egyptians knew it could be worse. Stay in the house and pick up the phone. We're here with each other, though we are alone. Six feet apart to keep everyone safe. But I hope that we'll sing this together someday. My brother says, hey, well, at least it's not raining. As torrents of water pour down from the sky. Cause all you can do now apart from complaining is try to crack jokes so you don't start to cry. Stay in the house and pick up the phone. We're here with each other though we are alone. Six feet apart to keep everyone safe. But I hope that we'll sing this together someday. Has this been uplifting? I did the assignment, but acing this test's not so easy to do. Oh, now I can't remember how the last verse goes. <laughs> Has this been uplifting? I did the assignment, but it's not so easy to ace this exam. The silvery lining, we're trying to find it. You'll show me, I hope, when we're out of this jam. Everybody, stay in the house and pick up the phone. We're in this together, though we are alone. Six feet apart to keep everyone safe, but I hope that we'll sing this together someday. 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 Now I'm going to put my headphones back on so I can hear Jeff again. No. Oh. Beautifully oh. done. Oh, thank you. I can hear you again now. Oh. Thanks, oh. everybody. Oh, that's so sweet. I couldn't see any of these comments while I was doing it, which was probably good because it, it, it would have screwed me up a lot more. Oh, that's nice. All right, should we take some more questions? Yeah. Oh, um, and, and also I, I should mention, I spent a chunk of today 
mixing a new recording of that song. So I think it's likely that sometime like next week, uh, it'll be available as a recording. It's really cool. pretty. Um, I just also wanted to mention not to backtrack and talk about my song, but mm. um, Little Boat, which I just played, also was covered by Patricia Santos. Oh, and yeah, that's an she, incredible cover, too. She does such a great version of it. So if you want to hear that, there it is. It's so good. Um, and I also play on it. So that's pretty fun. Yeah, you're like cameoing on your yeah. own song. That's really a guitar cool. guitar on your own song. Um, cool. That was great. That was beautiful. I love that. Thanks. Um, we have some cool, fun new questions. For example, what kind of whiskey? What kind of whiskey are you drinking right now, Jeff? Oh, this is Templeton Rye. Templeton Rye. You're a, you're a classy individual. Yeah, it was the second cheapest one that they had. <laughs> I'm a fan of benchmark for that reason. Yeah. yeah. It's like yeah. that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, what have you guys been up to to pass the time? Asks Marcus. Hi, Marcus. We think so fondly of that time that we played a concert in your living room in Boise. That was yeah. a highlight. Yeah. Remember, remember back when we could just like travel places and like go to people's houses and play music for like 20 of their yeah. closest friends. And touch our faces and touch their faces. <sighs> and, like go outside and like touch other things oh yeah that was nice um, um so, so what have you been doing with your spare time well uh i have some work i've been kind of doing although it's been tough to concentrate on it and i have been cooking i've been cooking a lot i made i've made cookies i made chocolate chip cookies with walnuts in them mm -hmm. and uh i've made a lot of dinners which have been good I've been talking about making scones for a few days and uh, we're going to get there soon. We've been I'm talking sure. a long time about that. I know. I haven't made those scones in like a long time. It's the first step to talk. Um, have you made anything? You have some, you should tell the people about your cooking issues in your house. Oh yeah. We don't have cooking gas in our building. Um, so we have a little hot plate. I have a rice cooker and a toaster oven and we just got a popcorn popper. So we have everything you need, covers all the bases. Um, I found out you can make pancakes in the rice cooker. Um, Are they good? It, some people can make them very well. Um, <laughs> you have to really uh, oil the inside of the rice cooker very, very well for anything to I not see. stick incredibly. But they're, they're kind of like soft, airy, foamy, kind of, you know, like Japanese pastries are kind of like that. Um, it's very, it's a very Japanese thing I've seen. There's many websites that talk about um, pancakes in the rice cooker. And I recommend people trying it. You have to have a certain kind of rice cooker that I don't have. Mm -hmm. so. Oh, there's a cat. Oh, let in the cat. Um, what do I drink? Somebody asks. I like an old fashioned. That's kind of my cocktail of choice. I like whiskey. That's a little bit sweet with some orange in it. Mm -hmm. Um, and actually, I just ha they have these canned cocktails that are uh, something called a rock and riot comes in this like teeny tiny little can and it's like basically like an old fashioned in a can. And that is my current drink of choice, although we just drank it and so it's gone. So now I'm back to just, you know, whatever isn't yeah. done. Yeah, the liquor, the uh, bar across the street was having a sale on liquor, hmm. half price bottles of wine and booze. So I got a bottle of booze of um, old granddad, old granddad. Anyway. These are strange times. Um, let's see, we have some random questions about uh, what kind of cooking equipment we have. And um, I don't another, have I there was know. another question I wanted to answer and I can't, I can't find it. Well, do we smoke weed? You no, I weed? no, I'm too I'm too anxious to smoke weed. I just it just makes me feel like I have something on my face all the time. Um, this is my cat. What tell us about your cat? This is my cat, <laughs> Orlando. He's a boy. And he's brothers with Elia's cats. And I have two cats. 
And Elia has two cats. Ow. And that and we're gonna siblings. Oh, he's so cute. I love Orlando. Um, yeah, have... my... yeah, I have cats, but obviously they're not gonna like come in when it's convenient for me. But yours looks really good up there. Oh yeah, shout out to Peter Bufano of Sir Kester, which is an awesome band, and that is their poster over there. So good. So good. Um, you want to play another song? Yeah, let's play another song. That's what we're here to do. I think it's your turn to play a song. Okay. Um, I let's see if I can remember. So um, this song is from the second Coderino album called uh, Better Than This. And this is the title song. I usually play it on piano with lots of vocal harmonies, but this is, this is it on guitar. Um. Hey, my baby, it's almost spring again. Stop your acting funny, put down your precious plans. Get out your best sundress, feed the cat and water the plants. Cause I'm gonna pull the car around, we're gonna drive from Brooklyn to the south of France. Seven days in a week, 12 months in a year. Like beads on a string that are weighing us down. What we think is out there, what we think doesn't care. It don't get better than this. It won't get better than this. It don't get better than this. It won't get better than this. Hey, my darling. If you won't, you know I will. Take all the favorite worries, gonna write them each down on a dollar bill. Spend it on star sunglasses, magic wand and a paper crown. Gonna swim in Bethesda fountain, we're gonna rule the world, we're gonna splash around. Seven days in a week, 12 months in a year. Light beads on a string that are weighing us down. What we think is out there, what we think doesn't care. It don't get better than this. It won't get better than this. It don't get better than this. It won't get better than this. It won't get better than this. It won't get better than this. There you have it. I like that song. It's been a long time since we played that song. Elia used to be in Coterino when we would play out. So she's been, you know all the songs and you can play them and sing them. It's really hard not to sing them, in fact. Yeah. Um, yeah, so when Jeff and I met, it was 2012, and Jeff had a big band called Coderino, which was like a seven or seven to nine piece parlor rock band with strings and horns and, and nice songs. And I had a big band as well called Sweet Soubrette, which was also big and had lots of strings and horns. And I caught his band in a bar one night and uh, really liked how they sounded. And Jeff and I started talking about uh, maybe playing a show together or something. That was, that was my suggestion. Your suggestion was. Yeah, I was like, oh, we should try writing songs together, which is not a thing that I was in not the habit of suggesting yeah. to people I just met. Um, and, and then there was a period of time of like several years where we had Charming Disaster and mm -hmm. I had Sweet Soubrette and also there was Coderino, which I was also in. So like there were these three like kind of overlapping projects. It was a busy time. It was a busy time, indeed. But now Charming Disaster has eclipsed all of that. And it, we're equally busy when we are busy. Yes, Charming Disaster has like expanded to like engulf all of the other 
yeah. projects. Yes. Um, Vincent wants to know if uh, I will play a song on the banjo. And the, the answer is, unfortunately, that is not my banjo. And I cannot play a song on it. It is my husband's banjo. He is somewhere in this apartment. He plays the banjo. And I do not play the banjo. Also, those strings are really sharp. I have like, I have mm -hmm. nylon strings on this on this uke. And they're, they're pretty gentle. Hannah asks, what happened to Coterina? Nothing bad happened to Coterina. Yeah. Um, but uh, Lake Sweet Soubrette, Coterina was kind of like a super group. Everybody in that band was like super talented and had their own projects and people have kind of dispersed. Yeah. And uh, it was always really hard wrangling all those cats. Yeah. 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 Cool. Um, cool. Well, uh, I thought we should actually, we should share the donation links again, because uh, I keep forgetting to do that. And if people want to, um, thank you so much, by the way, to everybody who has been tuning in every week and everybody who has been contributing yeah. to our various donation uh, things. It means so much to us. It helps us um, make more music and it helps us make up for some lost tour income. And we, we just so yeah. appreciate it. So, yeah, and uh, buying stuff on Bandcamp, it's just been so humbling. Really, really oh. lovely. Um, I am going to try sharing uh, a screen that has all of the links on it. Is it Let's this it. one? I love when uh, you do it. Am I sharing the right? No, I'm not sure. Oh, I am. Oh. There it is. OK, so those are, the, uh, those are the donation links. There's a Venmo. There's a PayPal. There's a link for virtual tickets if you want to use a credit card. And there's Bandcamp, which gets you to our merch and our uh, uh, hmm. music. OK, so there are the things. Oh, yes, and there are bandanas, uh, which I was going to model one of them, but I forgot to pull one out. Oh, yes, and the question about like whether our May tour shows are still going to go on is a very big question on our minds. We. Hey, Ellie. Yeah. Can you share that again? I don't yeah. think that came. Oh, really? Me. Okay. That's weird. Okay. Yeah, I'll it's share it again. Column of, of light. Oh, okay. Here. That's what I saw. You saw a column of light. Are you sure that you are? Oh, all right. How hey, about this? Is this is this a real thing that I'm that's sharing? Real thing. Yeah. Is this is this real? <laughs> is any of this real? All right. So there's a Venmo. There's a PayPal. There's a virtual ticket link. There's Bandcamp, and those are the things. Um, do you think that's enough time up on the screen? Um, sure. All right, I put them in the comments too. And what were you saying before I interrupted you so rudely? I don't know. It's gone now. I'll never, uh, I'll never are we know. Are going on tour in May? Are we going on tour? Oh God, are we going on tour? I don't know. Nobody knows anything. We we canceled our early April shows, and we have a big tour plan starting in mid-May and we just don't know um, if we're gonna yeah. be able to do it or not. I, I would say it looks pretty unlikely at this point, um, given what we know, uh, but we don't know. There's, there's, we have shows scheduled from mid-May to mid-July and we just don't know if any of them are gonna happen. So yeah, stay tuned. In the meantime, we are here with you in the ether. And um, if, uh, if those shows aren't happening, I'm sure we will do some kind of ticket refund thing for the shows that are ticketed. Um, but let's all, let's all just like do all the things we're supposed to do to hopefully mitigate this mm -hmm. disastrousness. Um, yeah. Yes. So yeah, I, I really, I like going on tour so much. Like I, I get so much out of the experiences face-to-face -face with people who we get to meet all over the place. Um, and it really, it gives me so much joy to see names coming up in the comments that I recognize either yeah, because yeah. we know you in real life or we've met you and now we know you in real life yeah, or like- stayed in your home. I mean, it's just, it's so great to see. Like, like our whole model is, has been so like up close and personal and like we've, yeah, like we've stayed in yeah. people's houses and we've like made friends with people and there's not like a big bright line between our friends and our fans and we feel very grateful for that being our situation no doubt yeah see, so yeah well we're gonna keep doing this every week until we're like you know sprung 
<laughs> from lockdown. I will say that like there is a great advantage to this for us in that our our fans are scattered mm -hmm. geographically, and so it's really hard for us to get to everybody and um, and even it's hard to like get a lot of people in any one place. And so this has been a real um, silver lining of sorts in that we yeah. are discovering this is a nice way to connect with you. Yeah. yeah. Um, in the meantime, I thought I'd play a cover. Do it. This is a cover by the Magnetic Fields. It's off of their album, Get Lost. Um, and it's one of my faves. Cool. With an ivory pie and a cummerbund in the dead of night on the Autobahn and the long ago on the radio and the dreaming moon. La -da. burning town and the fire went out we're alone again now now i finally know how cool to be cold like the dreaming moon La -da. begin again with another new name and a whole new life full of fortune and fame but in a hundred years we'll be right back here with the dreaming moon There you have it. Um, when I first started playing ukulele in 2005, I cut my teeth on magnetic field songs. They are often pretty simple, three or four chords. And um, that was one of the first ones I learned. I have to like to play it. Nice. Let's see, going back to the comments. You know, maybe you could keep doing this even when we are all released from couch jail. Not technically a question, but yeah, I think we will probably keep doing this in the future, mm -hmm. even after we can like go outside again and talk to people yeah. in person. Cause this, this is a cool format and like, we do love seeing you all playing so nicely together. It's, it's fun. It's like hosting yeah. a successful party. And we've invested in these fancy webcams or at least <laughs> No, You've thing. invested in that fancy, fancy cravat. <laughs> this is classic. Also, we're saving a lot of money on wardrobe because, like, no pants. <laughs> no pants, I know. <laughs> uh, oh, God. Melissa asks, what color lipstick are you wearing, Elia? I can show you what this lipstick is, actually. Oh, Elia. Yeah. yeah. Um, Let's see, this is, the color is called Storm. It's by Ciate and it's this like sparkly, hmm. have to apply it very precisely with a wand kind of thing. And um, and actually Marcus Lehman, it was Cass who was wearing a similar lipstick when we played at your house in Boise. And uh, I made her show me what it was. And I have worn this ever since. I don't actually need the sparkles, but um, I like the black wand. Hmm. Thing and it doesn't smear around as much. Um, I'm planning to replace it with a cheaper model made by uh, NYX, however. So that. Well, oh, and the people want to know about your mustache, Jeff. What about it? T tell us about it. Did you grow it? I grew it like a half hour ago. 
or an hour ago. Yeah, Impress it's, impressive. It's not, it's not real, like a hair mustache. <laughs> a hair mustache. It's not a hair mustache <laughs> yet. It's just a training mustache. <laughs> I think I might mm -hmm. actually work on something like this now. What? Why not? I'm also going to dye my hair purple. So we'll see. Huh. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I might start cutting my own hair or bangs or yeah. something. Just letting it grow. I mean, those are the only choices, are there, aren't there? Yeah, I guess those are the, the questions. What are other people doing? Are they cutting their own hair? I know Mike Gawkin probably is. He's got a buzzer. Um, are, are people like cutting it themselves, getting their you know, shut-in partners cutting it for them, or are they just growing it out long? I think this is going to create a new kind of hairstyle. Yeah, probably. Lower maintenance hairstyles, for sure. I mean, I was, I've was i been wearing a lot of hats indoors, yeah. just like, just wearing yeah. hats. Um, and actually, this is, this is kind of a public service announcement mm -hmm. of sorts, which is, I think, given that we're all doing all this, like, video conferencing, it's very important to start thinking about, like, your headwear just for like the morale of the people that you're talking to i think the more ridiculous or the more, the more, more space the too. more splendid you can make this space in your yeah. video conferencing totally agree yeah it's a uh, just do it do it for others not for yourself i don't have any hats but but yes yeah you know with this long hair trend we could just grow the hair out in some kind of yeah, maybe some sort of frame, you know, some like some sort of kind of architecture. Yeah, yeah, like a like a lightweight wire frame, and you can kind of like train your hair over it, like some mm -hmm. kind of uh, trellis. Oh, yeah. 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 So that's yeah. I, I think that's a good suggestion you just came up with. You're welcome, everyone. Um. Well, let's see what what is in our agenda that we didn't get to yet. Um, we plugged all the things. We answered a bunch of questions. We, oh, I, I have a new joke I was going to tell you earlier, and then I thought I would save it. Yeah, what's the joke? Okay, it's really dumb. What is a fisherman's favorite percussion instrument? I don't know. What is a fisherman's favorite percussion instrument? Castanet. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, ho. I'm, I'm sorry. That's good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, everybody. Uh, but if, if you have uh, if you have jokes, um, yeah, please. And always feel free to send us jokes. Um, please. Yeah. Uh, should we pull a unicorn oracle card as oh. part of our closing yeah. ritual? For yeah. You? Okay. So for those who were not uh, with us last week. I ordered a bunch of tarot card decks to sell as merchandise and received instead four weird decks of oracle cards, of which this was the best, the finest. Oracle of the Unicorns. Yes. So I'm going to pull one of these cards and this is going to, yeah, ready. just just get ready because. Know yourself. Yeah. Okay. All right, are you ready for it? Mm -hmm. Today's card is rebirth. Rebirth. Ooh. Rebirth sounds uncomfortable. Rebirth. And then it says in tiny script, reinvent yourself, give life to your dreams, create a new reality. Here we are. Here we are. I know. It's like whoever created this reality really did not think it through. <laughs> No. virtual reality all right but you know better luck next time mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah i think for the next armageddon it would be really interesting if like say the internet broke down and everyone was forced outside of their house to interact with people i like just assumed that's what it would be like i've yeah. been like preparing for not not preparing you understand just like sort of mentally preparing um for, for yeah for like the grid to go down and we're all like you know making campfires and trash cans and stuff but instead we're just reliant on this tech yeah on this this yeah hello 
Mm. Hello. Okay. All right. Well, I think we are almost come to the end of our yep. charming disaster variety hour. Um, we were going to try one song semi together. Do you still want to try that? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Um, weird, everybody. It's definitely going to be weird. Um, and uh, wait one second for mm -hmm. oh yeah put the links in again yeah i'm gonna put the links in one more time if you wanna put some money in the kitty here are the ways to put the money yeah. in the kitty but please don't feel pressure to this is just you have extra okay all right you go first People bring me casseroles and pray for his immortal soul. They think I'm in widow's weeds, but pity's the last thing I need. I dress in black and wear a veil to hide bright eyes and skin so pale. And make sure that nobody sees the marks of love my lover leaves. Since the day they told me he was gone Haunts me faithfully from dusk till dawn Hear him whisper sweetly in my ear Can't you see we got a good thing here Feel his fingertips caress my hair Turn around and there is nothing there Phantom arms around me sleep can't you see we got a good thing here? Can't you see we got a good thing here? When some people pass away, they don't reach the heaven that they've prayed. Bitter about the fallacy their afterlife turned out to be. They bitch and moan and hide your keys or talk to psychics on TV. They just groan and shake their chains when I say my baby's on the physical plane. When I died upon that cold, cold night, made a promise never leave her side. Now she knows that there's nothing to fear. Can't you see we got a good thing here? Run my fingers through her hair. She turns around and there's nothing there. Wrap my arms around a sleeping ear. Can't you see we got a good thing here? Can't you see we got a good My husband cooling in the grave, the worms crawling and out. My lover's disembodied soul makes me so happy now. When they drew their pistols and they fired each one shot, how could I have imagined this sweet bliss would be my love? I used to be an angry man. I wanted things that weren't mine. At 15 paces in the sand, I left that all behind. Now my spirits rise when she turns out her bedroom light. I gently haunt my lover in the cold and tender night. They try to comfort me with platitudes. They don't know I'm in a real fine mood. There's no reason I should shed one tear. Can't you see we got a good thing here? Don't talk to me of death. Do us part. Between us, we share one beating heart. 
candles flicker in the chandelier. Can't you see we got a good thing? Can't you see we got a good thing here? Can't you see we got a good, good thing here? <laughs> <laughs> nicely done oh time travel it's just a, just a little bit of time travel that's right all right well thank you all so so much for tuning in and spending this hour of your friday night with us um yeah. from here in the the pandemic world it's been a lot of fun doing this with everyone yeah it really has um we will see you next week, I hope, back here on Facebook Live. Um, and uh, we will also be uh, uh, saving this and it'll be available to watch um, from the future if you want to revisit mm -hmm. it or you missed the beginning or you want to share it with somebody. Uh, it'll be up on the Facebook and, uh, yeah. and on YouTube as well eventually. Hey, Ellie. Yeah. High five. <laughs> nice work uh my only regret is that my cats didn't come in to say hello yeah. but uh that we'll we'll do that next week next time all right thank you all so much um and thank you once again to bindlestick family circus for uh helping us with the tech side nikki we... says we should take a bow oh all right all right Bye-bye. We'll see Bye. you soon.